Hello, uh, my name is Mr Stinson and this video is intended to provide information for those considering studying A-level history at the North School. Uh, the course is made up of three components. Um, component one, Tsarist and Communist Russia, and component two, um, the making of modern Britain, and component three, um, coursework on the Tudors. Um, the way the course is assessed is through exams and coursework. So the first two components, making the modern Britain and, and Tsarist and Communist Russia, account for 40% of the final grade each, and that will be that assessment will be done um, via exams. Um, and the Tudors makes up the final 20% of the total grade for the A-level. Hi, I'm Mr Ferner and I'm just going to be walking you through the Russian component. So for the Russian component, you will explore in depth the story of the Russian Revolution. You'll begin by looking at the abuses suffered by the Russian people under the tyrannical Tsarist regime before examining the first attempts at opposition and resistance to the Tsar's overbearing rule. You'll study in detail the role of key individuals such as Lenin in the eventual overthrow of the Tsar in the revolution and how they established a completely new government from scratch. You'll also look at the rise of Stalin and how he became one of the most despotic dictators in modern history. Finally, you'll look at the Cuban Missile Crisis and how the world for a few short weeks teetered on the edge of nuclear Armageddon. Uh, so the making of modern Britain unit focuses on the development of Britain after the Second World War to becoming the modern day country that we know today. I'm covering the, the period of 1951 going right up to 2007. And um, there's a keen focus on politics um, to look at national and global issues um, that governments had to deal with through this entire period. Um, this is even more relevant today, um, given the sort of challenges that our national and world leaders um, have to face. Um, with world issues such as COVID-19 and, of course, national issues that we're still dealing with, such as Brexit. Hi there, I'm Miss Holness, and I'm going to have a chat with you about why it is that we should be looking at doing a history at A-level. So the main thing is the fact that it gives you brilliant transferable skills. You've got a list of them on there. So, that, for example, it gives you excellent communicative skills. It makes you a good writer and a good listener and also really good at presenting yourself. When you do a A-level history, you also have to have good research skills. When you do coursework, you need to research what you're doing. It also gives you independence. This makes you able to work on your own, which employers really, really value. But it also teaches you to work as a team because invariably we will give you group tasks that you have to do whilst you're doing your studying. You have to complete doing your A-level and your coursework whilst doing other things. Again, teaching you time management, an excellent transferable skill to have. And history also gives us an understanding of problem solving and how it is we can look at an issue and then consider how best it could have been handled. All these skills are things that people who are looking for employers really, really value. And A-level history is one of the most valued topics to have. Careers-wise, there's so many different options you can go into if you have an A-level in history. You can obviously go and do your degree and then become a historian, but you can also do other things. You can work in the heritage sector. Uh, that's one thing I did when I first left university, worked in the heritage sector. You can be inspired by us and you can become a teacher or you can go completely differently. Because of those transferable skills, you have so many options. You can become a journalist. You can even go into banking if you wanted or publishing or even project management. The world is your oyster when you have a history A-level. Cultural capital. Uh, history feeds into, as you've heard, so many different subjects and into your personal life as well. Our families have lived through so much of the 20th and 21st century that studying history can actually give you some context for your own family story. From a social aspect, History helps you to understand how your society has been shaped by past events. In the political world, we need to look at what politicians have done in the past in order to understand why they are doing what they do now and to watch out for what they do in the future. At a cultural level, those of you studying the arts will enjoy the uh, the relationship between art, music and literature from the past 
they're all set in their own history and perhaps you can consider what the music you listen to today will tell people of the future thank you so much for watching um, if you have any questions please do email me um, at j.stinson at thenorthschool.org.uk and look forward to seeing you next year